アコーナーよりゼルズメンティーガルシック選手の入場です Pride 34 Kamikaze live for the first time ever from Japan from Saitama Super Arena with top ranked MMA fighter Frank Trigg I'm Sean Wheelock glad you're with us thanks for staying up late in North America the final Pride under DSE this is really an eventful night I'm really glad you stayed up late as long as you're not my kids go to bed <laughs> I know my son Frank is probably up right now watching the show I just want to make sure he's sleeping get it on get it on TiVo later kid Zel Galasic from Croatia, 28 years old, 6'2, 182 pounds. This is his Pride debut, 6 1 overall in MMA. An impressive CV, 2000 and 2001 Taekwondo world champion. But as we talked about in our pre fight show, he is learning the sport literally on the fly. You know, he's a guy that's got great feet, great hands, obviously knows how to knock guys out, but the long, looping, rangy kicks and, and striking of Taekwondo. May not be to his advantage this evening. We're really going to get a chance to find out. You know, of course, a young kid, and this is his debut in Pride, but he comes from Croatia, and now he doesn't come from Croatia. He trains with the likes of Mirko Krokop when he's home. So he definitely knows how to strike. And as long as you don't know Mirko Krokop, one of the best left, left head like kicks there is on the planet today. Galicic splits his time because between his home in Croatia and Bristol, England, where his training partner is James Thompson. James Thompson, really, as we said earlier, is a guy who's been kind of thrown to the wolves, but now he's really learning how to do MMA from a, from a submission and a counter submission game. It's the same thing that's happening here with g a l i s i c He's really got to learn how to compete on the ground as well. The stand up game is not the only thing that's going to help you win. You got to learn what to do when you're on the ground. Of g a l i s i c s six pro fights. All in England except for one in Sweden. Frank, his first time in Japan, stepping up, r i g h t debut. What are the nerves like him stepping onto the big stage? Well, I've said this before, and I'll tell you again. When I first time I fought in Pride, which was back in Pride 8, I got a little sick. A little, you know, couldn't control my stomach, couldn't control my bowels. I kind of lost my lunch on both ends because it is such a nerve wracking, you know, nerve wracking sight. All these fans in the house, all the lights, the ring, you're talking, you know, you see the people you watch on TV all the time, the judges, the officials, the rest, all of a sudden you see them live and in person, and then they know who you are. It makes you very, very nervous. g a l i s i c is a very, very likable person. We've had a lot of fun spending time with him. Really a smile on his face. You know he's nervous, but he is covering his nerves very well. Takimoto is a national hero in Japan because of his Olympic gold medal in judo at the 2000 Games. But he has really struggled, Frank, to find his best form in MMA, two and three in Pride. And that's a disappointing record for someone of his ability. Takimoto is a lot better competitor than what's being seen. He's just not a very good fighter. And the problem is, is that he is so good at judo, he's having a really hard time making that transfer into learning about the striking. And the submission game. For those of you that don't know too much about judo, judo is a throwing arm. So I take a man from his feet and throw him to his back on the ground. He's very, very good at throws. He's very patient. He's incredibly intelligent when it comes to the ability in the fight to learn what your opponent's doing to him. He just he really hasn't found his spot of where he can really learn how to strike and how to get control of the fight and maintain control of the fight, whether it's through ground or pound, whether it's through throwing a guy and maintaining control on the ground, or whatever he has to do. He just hasn't developed it yet. He said he's going he's to show us tonight that he finally has found that niche. g a l i s i c told me that he is not used to fighting with a gi, now fighting someone in a gi. And that's one of the neat things you get to see over here in Pride is that you get to see guys, they get to, you get to fight in a gi, with a gi on, or without a gi. Now, here's the thing if your man knows how to use the gi, like obviously Takimoto does, he's going to be able to use that gi to choke him or submit him with it. He's going to be able to use the grip, grab the lapels, grab the sleeves, grab the scarves. To be, able to, to be able to choke him unconscious and or submit him with the gi. But the, if you have to fight an opponent that knows how to use the gi but doesn't have one on, it's going to be a detriment to him because he may get thrown to the ground.
Zo Galasic again, two time ta Taekwondo world champion, making his pride debut. There's the Olympic judo gold medalist, Makoto Takimoto. Four years older than his opponent Galasic. At five foot seven to six foot two of the Croatian fighter. Let's talk about that height difference. When you're talking about striking, it's going to be an advantage if you're a little bit longer, a little bit taller. But like as I said before, traditionally the grappling guy is able to step in. You see the pride rules of the ring. Three round maximum, a total of 20 minutes maximum. Round number one, 10 minutes. Rounds two and three scheduled for five minutes. Galasic. In the black. What? Takimoto out of the gi, also wearing the black shorts. And a big oh. high kick. You wow. see Taekwondo right there from Galasic. Nice leg kick. He's doing a good job of controlling the pace of the fight by using his feet. Takimoto's getting scared to step inside, but he needs to step inside really quick to get out of the range of that kicking. I think a good decision by Takimoto not to fight the gi. Obviously, he feels comfortable wearing it. That's why he did into the ring. So Takimoto either needs to get all the way out of the legs, out of the leg distance, or get all the way inside when he can't kick him anymore. Right hand just missed from Takimoto. Punching is not his strength. He'll look for the throw. A kick found its mark by Galasic. Well, that's a tough low left kick by Galasic. Good job by Takimoto. See, now he's stepping inside. He can't get kicked at this point, and he's comfortable with this spot. Takimoto going for the leg sweep with the left foot, couldn't do it. Nice bear hug action, really controlling the pace of the fight now, because he's inside, but he may be wasting too much energy if he doesn't get Galasic down on the ground quickly. This is where Galasic wants to throw knees, right? If he can get the space to get his hips back, oh, nice leg sweep, good job. But Galasic is still moving, he's doing a good job of staying, but now he's giving his back up. It's going to be very difficult for him to get out of the spot with a guy that's as good as on top as Takimoto is. Galasic making the mistake, giving his back. Takamoto, you know he's looking for the choke. Galasic keeping his chin tucked in tight. Takamoto, as you notice, if you look at his ankles, he's got both hooks in. He's got both hooks in. He's locked in. He's squeezing his legs down and trying to expand Galasic until he flattens out. Now he's got a shot to start to make this finish. Here comes the choke. What can Galasic do? He's got to get his arm. His elbow's up by his head. Did a good job of getting his elbow back down to the ground. He, had, he was stuck in a hard head and arm choke. But he got out of it very nicely. Takamoto went to the side mount. Galasic, he does not want to fight from flat on his back. Again, he is a stand-up fighter. Now remember, guys, he can knee and he can he can knee him here in the head and kick him here if he chooses to, because these are the pride rules. So if he can get this, if, if Takimoto can get his right knee free and get that hand out of the way, he can start kneeing Galasic on top of the head. Takimoto being an outstanding judo player, as you would imagine, very comfortable in the side mount. He's got to be more active, though. He's got to look the fist. No, oh, sitting under the armbar. Run right for the armbar. And a good escape by Galasic from the Juji Gatama. Going for the stop. That didn't work. Oh, full mount. Oh, good job. Galasic in the mount. Galasic into the north-south. Now going for the choke. He's got a rear naked choke. Oh, my gosh. He's got a rear naked choke halfway set in. It's not all the way locked. You see how... Takimoto's head's turned, so it's off, but it's amazing that he's got that much confidence to jump in right away to a, to a uh, submission. Remember, Galasic, new to submissions. Now sitting up in the full mount. Takimoto Galasic. had a chance to stand up and didn't do it. He's more comfortable on the ground. He doesn't want to get back up there getting kicked and getting punched. Galasic's doing a good job of controlling what we call the ground and pound. Takamoto into the full guard. Oh, those are big punches from Galasic. Takamoto temporarily let him set up. Now you notice how Takamoto has legs crossed, closed guard. He's not moving, he's not doing anything. He's not pushing, he's not pulling. He's just kind of surviving, and you can't do that with a guy that's as active as Galasic. Galasic wants his opponent, Takamoto, to stand up. And the referee, Samio Kimura, does just that, stands both fighters up. Now, depending on, on depending Takamoto's mindset, if I was on the ground like that, I would have tried to sneak in as quick as I can to keep from this from going back up to the feet. Good combination. Takamoto in serious trouble. Right hand for Takamoto. 
and he's down. Referee Kimura looking very closely. Good job. Good job by Takemoto to cover up when he's down on the ground. He did get kicked, he did get stomped on, but they all were glancing blows. They didn't get full full, uh, full uh, range on him, which is very, very dangerous for the guy that says a powerful kick and a powerful striker is Galicic. You gotta be careful letting him get a full heel on you. Takimoto into the open guard. Galicic looking to set up. Now you see here, there's a little bit of blood coming out. I, I got a guess, now this is a guess for me, ladies and gentlemen, that it came from that downward stump that caused that cut on his nose. Now, right now it's not that bad, because it's on his nose, it's dripping into his eye a little bit, but it won't be a, a referee stoppage. It won't be, it's just more irritating than anything. It will not be a problem that he's gonna have to face with in, later on in the fight because it's on his nose. Now, it will, if guys aren't used to getting cut, if they're not used to bleeding a little bit during a fight, it will throw them off. You're gonna find out how mentally tough he really is right now. Referee Samio Kimura moving both fighters to the center of the ring for the restart. Takimoto still in the open guard. Galicic, not as active. He can do a European form, not a Mark Coleman form, but a European form with the ground and pound. It's very difficult to do the grandfather style of ground and pound. For those of you that know Mark Coleman pretty much invented and developed the ground and pound that all of us use today. Good head pressure, getting, trying to get his hands free. Now he is sitting up and pulling away. Need to keep that head pressure and get his hands free with his head still on his head. Nice, oh, nice right for the arm bar. Good this, job. This could be it with the Kimura, going for it. Sitting up there, he's got a, uh, a uh, Uma Plata now sitting up into it. Still has it. Galicic could be in big trouble, flat on his back. Now going to far side Kimura. Takimoto getting the horse in. Well won by Makoto Takimoto submitting Zell Galicic. Great work. Incredible job by Takimoto. Stick with it. He got rattled. He got beat a little bit on his feet. He just stayed with his game. That's the mental toughness I'm talking about with a lot of fighters. They come in, they're used to pulling guys around, used to pushing guys around. They really gotta find out how mentally tough they can be when the chips are down. And Takimoto proved it here tonight that he really is a guy that when things are getting tough, he stays in the judo game and goes right for the submissions. Takimoto, winner by submission in the first round. That's the type of performance I think his fans here in Japan expect from him every time in the MMA ring. He did incredible work. You know, he really got guys stepped into it. And you see here with that leg sweep, it's just a simple leg sweep because he was, you know, uh, Galicic was standing straight up and down. He didn't have a good bent knee, good balance, and it made it very easy for a guy that's as superior as he is on, on his feet, Takimoto, to take him down to the ground. This, I believe, is the melee that caused the bleeding on his nose. It was, I thought it was his foot. As you can see there in the replay, it was it ended up being his hip that hit him. And the swinging, look at how tough Takimoto is just to stay in the pocket here against a tough guy like Galicic, it was really, really hard. <笑>正直、一般的人は全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然全然